Hello everyone. Welcome again the teacher to online science video channel. Again we are here in the part number 3 of chapter number 8 that is how do organism reproduce. So in this chapter some more parts those are left we will discuss and here it is reproduction in human being the part that is left so when we discuss or when we start about talking about the reproduction in human being we must stay start from the puberty and the puberty means human beings are complex animals and hence there is a distinct phase in their life cycle which marks the onset and attainment of sexual maturity so this attainment of sexual maturity maturity is itself a um, puberty this period is called puberty it usually starts at around 10 to 11 years in the age in girls and at around 12 to 13 years of the age in boys it usually ends at around 18 years of age in girls and around 19 years of age in boys that is why this time or we can say this age from 11 to 19 is just called as teenage so this phase called teenage got the puberty and it's very necessary part of the life now what happens when some boys and girls comes into the puberty let's discuss about the changes so first of all changes in boys during puberty the boys suddenly grow in height dramatically their height enlarges their height increases and body a little bit um weakened voice becomes deep and the adam apple becomes prominent what is this adam apple from when the boys are talking you just see on the throat one a little ball like structure that is coming out from their throat in the front side that is called apples adam apple shoulders become broad and body becomes muscular they are being stronger day by day facial hairs begin to grow hairs also grow under the armpit and in the pubic region also what are the changes that happens in the girls there also let's discuss the voice becomes thin shoulders and his hips becomes rounded breasts get enlarged hairs grow under the armpit and in the pubic region also so these were some of the changes that is most often seen in the boys and girls when they enter into the puberty stage so next is sexual dimorphism the physical dissimilarities in the male and female of a species which give them a different appearance is called sexual dimorphism means by looking only we can identify this is the male and the female and these changes in the body happens very sudden and these changes after these changes the male and female can be identified or their appearance becomes very different from each other and this is called the dimorphism <clears throat> next comes the secondary sexual characters that appears after this is says when the puberty starts so these features which highlight sexual dimorphism are called secondary sexual characters so the characters which appears after the dimorphism are called secondary sexual characters next it is we will have to discuss about the male reproductive system and then we will discuss about the female reproductive system so first of all let's discuss about the male reproductive system so this is comprises of the following things also 
first one is testes there is a pair of testes which lies in a skin pouch and called scrotum the term you must remember the the pouch in which a pair of testes remains is called scrotum scrotum is suspended outside the body below the abdominal cavity this helps in maintaining the temperature of testes below the body temperature and this is necessary for optimum sperm production testes primarily serves the function of sperm production sperms are the male gametes yes we have discussed already <clears throat> apart from that testes also pro pro um, produces testosterone this is the hormone this is called the male hormone testosterone is also called the male hormone and as it is responsible for developing certain secondary sexual characters in boys next it is vas deferens vas deferens is the tube which carries the sperm to the seminal vessels next it is seminal vessels vesicle this is the place where sperm are stored the place where sperm are stored is called seminal vesicle secretion from the seminal vesicle and prostate gland add up to make the semen then it comes it becomes semen next it is penis it is a muscular organ which serves the genital urinary functions the urethra works as the common passes for urine as well as the sperm also then it comes the reproductive system in female so if we discuss it comes first, first of all that is uterus uterus this is pear shaped hollow muscular organ uterus is the place where the embryo gets implanted and develops into a newborn baby the wall of the uterus provides safety and nutrition to the growing fetus next it is fallopian tube one fallopian tube comes out from each side at the top of the uterus the fallopian tubes end in finger like structures called fimbria fertilization happens in fallopian tube that is very important sometimes there may be a question that where the fertilization takes place so that is fallopian tubes next it is ovary there are two ovaries one near each fallopian tube ovary produces the eggs or the female gametes all the eggs are produced by the ovary when the female child is still in the womb one egg matures in each ovulation cycle and is released from the ovary the egg is caught by the fimbria and transferred to the fallopian tube and the more about this you will study in class 12th also in a detail about these all process and the structure of the female reproductive system next it is vagina the cervix <coughs> the mouth of uterus opens into the vagina vagina is a muscular tube like organs which serve as the passage for the sperm and also as the canal during the child birth and next it comes the reproductive health human beings are different than other animals because they have the power of thinking yes they have to obey certain moral values and they need to behave sensibly in most of the aspects of life and this only made the human beings and other animals also different from each other otherwise human also is an animal only but one adjective is used before the animal that is called social animal so man can be said said as social animal beginning of puberty does not mean that a person is psychologically ready for the process of reproduction yes correct for a human being reproduction involves more than just producing an offspring yes 
human beings are not just thinking about producing the next generation the puberty means lots of about the reproductive health of a human being as any act of sex has the potential of fertilization yes so taking care of contraception becomes important moreover the act of the sex also has the potential of creating many sexual transmitted diseases these are stds means sexually transmitted diseases maybe the gonorrhea herpes then syphilis aids hepatitis b so these were some of the examples of sexually transmitted disease this is very important just remember it the may there may be some example some questions regarding the examples of sexually transmitted diseases aids and hepatitis b are incurable till date yes there is no medicine available in the market even the curable stds are potential dangerous not only physically but also psychologically also so we have to take care at most care then it is reproductive health involves preventing the chances of std yes reproductive health involves to prevent to come in contact with the stds and preventing unwanted children also so reproductive health means a couple should be able to enjoy the reproductive phase of its life without taking the burden of gigantic family so this all was about the how organism do the production in this chapter that's all thank you for watching the teacher tube science classes for more such video visit again